Thank you, um, Tuto. First of all, I think let me uh, acknowledge, um, you know, the president, uh, Mr. Alebala, and um, and the board for their continued support. Um, also, have to thank Chonagas and its management uh, for um, their sponsorship. <coughs> Um, uh, Dlala for the technical sponsorship, Dlala Sport, um, VT, VTM Security, they are, you know, our security partners, VET Transport, you know, our transport partners, um, River Ridge Lodge, our camping uh, or you could say accommodation partner. Takwa, uh, um, uh, our water sponsor, uh, and all well wishers. Um, without them, we probably would not have seen the end of um, uh, of the season. <clears throat> but what you going back to your question, Tuto? You know, we wanted to come to the Premier League. We always wanted to come to the Premier League. You know, to uh, to see. Uh, how far we can, you know, we can compete in that at that level, but um, a slight change of um, <clears throat> maybe uh, the platform also gives you other ideas. You know, we've always had uh, at the back of our mind we should have, you know, do football the right way. You know, in terms of management, you, you know, um, football is not new. It's not an invention in Abutuan. So we know where it was invented. And I think, you know, looking at what those people are doing, the successes they are having, there's only one way of doing football, and we believe it's the right way. Uh, so maybe get, get into this platform. It has challenged us, you know, a bit more to really look too into ourselves and say, Totam, what are we in football for? What are we intending to do for this nation because we've always said my okay, it's all about um, Botswana football it's a national project it's not about a certain group of supporters or world wishers or or maybe where we come from so <clears throat> because of that we've learned very good lessons one of them is it has always been like this the Premier League has always been what we expected um, you know it's, it's a good platform we respect the league um, but it has helped us, uh, you know, uh, to remember and, you know, restructure. If you saw mid-season, how we started to, you know, slowly show that we are going to take a, you know, a, a different direction in terms of sport management, in terms of, you know, uh, football. So uh, the greatest lessons in football is, uh, you know, in the first league, in the first Premier League season for us is that's, it has confirmed what we wanted to see and we've seen it and it's going to help us now uh, with energy, with emotions, uh, with commitment to what we want to achieve uh, uh, for this nation. Now let's talk about uh, the team's performance on the field of play. The team's performance on the field of play, you know, mixed emotions, you know. Um, there were days which were very dark. There were days which were very bright, and there were days that were just so emotional. You know, one of the games I remember quickly, um, it's our game against Orapa. You know, I came back a very proud man. It was an emotional end to the game. You can, you can quote the same game, Suwa. Uh, away at Suwa, you know, 2 nil down. And, um, you know, we've always been an emotional team, eh? And I think the season performance in general gave us, uh, if it is done the right way. Like I said to, to in your first question, we, we've not been doing football the right way. That's what we believe. And we've seen that we have that potential to be, 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 be a very spirited performance uh, or performer as a team. And, and, and if we can do that, we can get the basics right. 
um, you know, <coughs> we can get to where we want to be. But one of the greatest highlights, you know, is um, the position where we find ourselves in. It can't be, it can't be any exciting. Um, and, and that's one of the reasons why we are saying um, we want to take the right direction. We are not changing direction. We are only accepting that football has to be done the right way and that's, uh, you know. So in terms of, the, you know, the performance, I would say, um, I think I would go back to where I started. Some bright days, some very dark days and, you know, some very emotional days and at the end of the day, we are here again and we will, you know, we have an opportunity to try again at this platform, so I am, I think I'm fine. Um, um, then the FA Cup season two, uh, the success, how has it changed uh, the club system? You know, those are some of the things that you can't take away from us, eh? Um, it was the first time, it was our first time in a, um, forget the platform, BFA, BFL, uh, you know, junior leagues, you know, all, forget the platform. But to make um, the Orange Cup, uh, it's an FA competition, eh? It is, uh, it's, a, it's a global competition. Every nation has an FA Cup. And if you make it to the final of the FA Cup, uh, it means you are doing something right in the FA competition. So, um, like I said, after our semi-final, you know, win, you know, I, I am happy enough. According to me, the success was getting to the semi-final. Our target was the semi-final. We won the semi-final and went to the final. So, you know, a very proud moment in the history of this uh, club. And I think it is what we should build up from. You know, we shouldn't just look to win competitions or do very well in competitions. We should create a platform. Uh, you know, to do well in competitions and uh, the FA Cup, at least for us, and it is not a privilege any team, any team can uh, say they have. The FA Cup now, the final of the FA Cup now says to Masitaoka, the whole Masitaoka, you, you know, doing things right, you can, the sky is the limit. Uh, now through the midway season, uh, I'm going to challenge you through in terms of results and then we have to change the technical team when we brought in Bumaiki. And so, so far they managed to help the team to survive a legacy. Like and uh, what is the main thing they can order to me by Philly going to the next season in terms of uh, players to recruit? Really, uh, what is the main thing they going to the next season? Well, you, you know, it, it was never an easy decision to change um, guard. But, you know, when ambition uh, and currency are too distant or are becoming too distant every day. Eventually you have to look at um, the, the team interest. And then we had to go that route. And um, you know, I'm happy with, you know, eventually with the, the recruitment and the technical team, we, you know, managed to get, you know, fairly young guys with um, interest and development. So, um, and, 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 and just to answer your, your question in, in general, Majitaoka's direction is simple now. We are purely 100 and whatever percentage you can think of a development side. We, we know it comes with a lot of sacrifice. First one, you know, the, the resources, the infrastructure. It is costing a lot of money to come up with infrastructure because if you want to do development, if you want to do football the right way, the infrastructure, the platform has to be right. You know, it, 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 uh, the human resource is going to be, we have to improve even in terms of human resource. Um, so <clears throat> the mandate that these guys have is to create a team that will create opportunities to play regularly um, uh, uh, for, for our development uh, uh, graduates, for, our, for young Botswana, you know, for young Africans. We want to, um, uh, uh, you know, create a platform, you know, nationally, where every young kid knows, you know, the Premier League, it's an opportunity for all of us to go and showcase our talent. Uh, Botswana can have players playing globally, and Majitok is, is going to be that platform. So their mandate is that pure. They have, you know, to create and structure a team such that it creates that environment 
for young players to excel. And that obviously means uh, in the recruitment, the target is young players. Uh, because we have already have, you know, a bit, a bit older players or what you could call experienced players. So the um, recruitment this time around will be purely on, uh, you know, a lot of young guys, talented young guys for the development side and talented young guys for, um, <clears throat> for the Premier League side. Um, you know, I, I always ask this to, to people I have conversations in football. And with due respect to our league, you know, how many players did you see? Do, do you watch every game against Mashitaoka? How many players did you see playing against Mashitaoka or for Mashitaoka for 17 years, 18 years, 16 years, 19, 20, 21? Only a handful. And, and you just recently was watching the pinnacle of uh, club football, the Champions League. How many under 20 players did you see there? Uh, so it worries uh, uh, that we don't give a lot of chance to these players, it, you know. And like I said, with due respect to the league, I think we should be, I honestly think, I think the team, I think the board, the management, the president, I think they believe that the nation is doing it the, right, the wrong way. We should actually have a quota for this league, for the first division, for all the other leagues. We should have a quota to make sure that every team includes young players in their team. But we are not managing a league, it's a, a tutor. We are managing Mashitaoka. So in Mashitaoka, we will have a quota every, every game that so many under 20 players should be in the first 11. So many should be in the, uh, in, uh, in the, in the match day squad. And our, uh, our target is in three years, you know, to have almost 95% 95, 95 of the first team the guys under 23 and the junior side, very competitive and at all levels of you know opportunities they have. But with the young guys uh, who have an ambition to you know to be global stars, we we want to be the first team to create uh, you know a, you could say a billionaire in football from Botswana, and it is possible. It's happening in Zimbabwe, in South Africa, in Namibia all the Southern African countries, and we believe it can be done here. And it will be done <coughs> through the platform that we are going to create. We are open to collaborations with anyone interested in football development, uh, you know, from National Association, the BFA, to other leagues and to other individuals who are more, you know, ambitious to development. We are open to those collaborations because we believe football should be done the right way.